Hey, 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 how's it going? Yeah, this is Gilbert here. And November 8, we were supposed to run the Santa Clarita Marathon today, Sunday. But it was postponed, canceled because of COVID-19. As uh, many races around the country, around the world has had, they have had to cancel because of the uh, pandemic. Let me say a little something about sitting in the black chair. I uh, only get to sit in this black chair when it is too dark outside to film. I, I, I like to be outdoors and the sun, uh, but uh, it's been, uh, it, with the time change, it gets dark so early. All my running now, it looks like it's happening in the dark. Not only the running, but my uh, chance to visit on YouTube through this camera is also in the dark. That's why I'm in the black chair. So I moved all the stuff out of storage and now it's here. And you know something? I have some running treasures buried somewhere. There is one box that has running videos, videos, videos. And um, they're on a VHS um, videotape. And so one day I'll discover that box and get those videos and try to convert them to digital. Yeah, that's something I plan to do. And the, the other thing is, I have a, a box that's full of uh, photos. Photos from a camera that uh, shows up uh, running videos. No, no, not running videos, running photos. That box I will discover. And so there are two treasures there, but I've only found uh, one other treasure and uh, a potential treasure. And I will look at those today and see if they have any good flashback uh, <laughs> memories and encouragement from the past. The past is forever. And sometimes we have to celebrate the past. So let's do a little running flashback. A few years ago, I think it was either 2016 or 2017, I was making a major move, moving from a, a house into a small studio apartment and I was going to have to put a lot of stuff in the storage. And what I had was uh, two gigantic boxes of running memorabilia, uh, logs, records, uh, training schedules, all kinds of stuff that you know tied me to past exploits as a runner and I um, had to make a decision hold on to these things hold on to these treasures or get rid of them and uh, I may have made a foolish move I'm not sure yet but I decided to get rid of the whole thing and threw the two boxes away the only thing I kept were the medals. You know, medals are something you don't want to throw away. So I kept medals, but everything else just um, threw out. 
I kept some photos. I, you know, the photos weren't just of me running, but of family. Yeah, it's uh, some photo books, so I kept all the photos. And it's in the garage somewhere. One day I'll get a chance to go through some boxes and see if I can find them, but that will take uh, maybe a day or two to navigate. going crazy right now. It's one of those blustery Southern California days. It never rains in California except on the days that it does. Oh, 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 oh. Why I threw those boxes away is because I didn't want to be burdened by the past, by my, my running exploits. I didn't want to compete with, the, with my young self. I didn't want to at 60 years old compete with the records that I had set when I was 30, 40, and even 50 years old. I wanted to get a fresh start when I got a new lease on life, when um, I found out that my heart was good, my knees good, and I can pursue uh, competitive running again. I wanted to start fresh with no records to, um, you know, to tie me down to the past and embarrass me and make me feel that I'm wasting time because I can't attain the records or the level or, or the standard that I set when I was a much younger runner. You know what, one day, this is what happened, I think I was about 34, 35, where I with my coach there, Bruce Robinson. And I had been with him for about a year or two and I went out one Sunday and I ran the, 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 the Brentwood 5K. That's out uh, somewhere near Hollywood. Uh, you, you may know that's a familiar place because that's where O.J. Simpson um, allegedly, I think he did it, allegedly murdered um, Nicole Simpson and uh, the other, I can't remember the, the name of the young man, but uh, that's where it happened, in Brentwood, California, anyway. We were running there before the murders, you know, and all that. This was some time. And I came away with an 18 minutes something seconds uh, performance for the 10K. And the following Monday, I uh, told the coach my, um, my, my result. I think he was even there, he was doing the timing. And he said, oh, oh good boy, uh, hey, that's old man's time. You ran old man time. And I said to myself, I had to put it back here, man, if old man can run that fast, man, I should have been running a lot faster. Get down to some 15 minutes. You know, that's what a, a lot of the young guys around my age were trying to, to achieve with a 15 minute uh, barrier. And so, I'm an old man now. Well, still not an old man. Get in there. I should still be running 18, 17 and 18 minutes, 5K, so there's an encouragement. There are really two ways to look at it. The records, the pictures from the past can discourage you and intimidate you and make you feel that there's no point I'm getting slower every time, every time, I, every year I'm getting slower. Why, 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 why continue? Why spend the time? I'm never going to break any records. I'm never going to get any medals or win any races. Well, that's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is the pictures and 
facts and figures from the past encourage you to remind you that, hey, you are an active, you are in great shape. There's no reason you should uh, let all that go just because you're getting older. Of course, you have to set your standards and your targets a little lower. You'll be a little slower, but you can go back to the past and say, I was fit like a fiddle, man. I can still be fit like a fiddle at 70, 80, 90. You do what you can with what you have. So my training for this program, this uh, training to run a sub four minute mile after 60 project is ability based. I am not uh, focused on the age part of it, but focus on what the ability, the, the body's ability to, to perform, to train and perform. And so I, I, I don't know what the limits are. I'm not going to limit because of age uh, barriers or age uh, obstacles or boundaries or difficulties. No, no, the age, we got to put that into the background. I got to stay with uh, the ability for the body to perform, to recover, of course, to stay injury free, of course, and to be able to um, function biomechanically. <laughs> yeah, if you can run and your body can run, hey, why not? If you can run fast and your body thinks it can go fast, why not? And there are a lot of uh, older runners, older than myself, that are way faster and uh, way more um, uh, skilled in, in the art of uh, running than I am. So. I'm trying to catch up to those folks, so I'm not the pace setter yet. I'm following, I'm trying to catch up with those who are setting the foundation for performance at an advanced age. And I'm encouraged. <laughs>